good morning happy monday this video is going to be a week in my life vlog i have been getting requests to film longer videos normally i edit out a lot of clips of me rambling so i'm going to try not to do that and i'm just going to film more give this video a thumbs up if you want me to film longer vlogs like this let me know or just comment I'm waiting for brand approval so I can get a video posted this morning. I also need to finish filming and editing a fashion video. I did a poll, or not a poll, but I did like a question box over on Instagram. And surprisingly, I got a lot of requests for fashion videos. It was like longer vlogs, what I eat in a days, weeks, like food videos and fashion videos were like the top requests. My style is super simple and casual, which is why I don't really film a lot, but I do have like a fall, it's like haul slash styling video coming. So we'll see if you guys like that or not. You know, maybe do more. But I'm actually going to Toronto this week, which I'm really excited about. And I'll talk more about that later. But I am leaving tomorrow at midnight. I booked an overnight flight because I didn't really want to waste daytime. Although I can't really sleep on planes, so we'll see how that goes. I somehow need to pack a carry-on. I'm going to be there for four days. Wednesday to Saturday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Yeah, four days. It's pretty cold over there right now. I find packing for cold weather is a lot harder because like boots and coats take up so much space. And I also have a bunch of different events. There's like workouts, dinners, need travel outfits, just like casual daytime outfits. So we'll see how getting all of that into a carry-on works. But yeah, so I need to sort out outfits, get packed. I'm gonna run to the mall because I wanna return some stuff and just like browse a little bit. I told myself I wasn't gonna buy anything in October. That has not been working out so far. So I might move that challenge to November. I don't know. It just whenever I travel, I feel like I always need to get new outfits. What is your ETA? Because I might make another coffee here. Okay. I was gonna leave in like 10. <clears throat> okay, I might do it. Right, I'll take my time. Oh, that's me. <laughs> okay, bye. Bye. Just about to head out to the gym. I am following a workout program right now but my schedule was messed up this week, so I don't really know exactly what I'm gonna do, but I need to plan it before I go or else it's gonna be a sham of a workout. I think I'm gonna focus more on cardio and then do a little bit of like full body, but my sister's gonna pick me up and we're gonna go. So I just need to get my shoes, my water bottle, and let's go. to open for it the other day and I picked out a few things that I'm going to return I really like the pieces I picked out but I brought them home and I was trying to style them and I feel like I'm missing other key things in my wardrobe I just think like at this point right now I wouldn't wear them very often I got this purse which I actually think I'm gonna keep but I'm gonna bring it with me just in case because they also have it in black I don't know if I would wear white or black more honestly I think I would wear the white more, but because we're going into fall winter, I'm like, do I get the black? I want it in white and black. I think I'm gonna keep this. I love the color of this sweater and I feel like it goes really good with my skin tone and my hair. It's just like a dark green. I just, I don't think I'll wear it very often. I have a black sweater shirt similar to this and I've worn it once. I'm probably gonna return this. The last thing that I picked out was this tweed skirt. I really like this too. I like all the things. I better not break this zipper. I just, I don't think I would get enough wear out of them and I think I should get something else instead. I'm bringing this back to the mall and then I'm just gonna browse around a little bit. I've been trying to find a good oversized blazer. I bought like three, returned them all. I just find like the shoulder padding isn't good or like the fit of it, it's not oversized enough. So I'm gonna see if I can find either an oversized blazer or like a blazer dress because I feel like that's just such a good staple basic. Alexa, pause. I'm sorry if I activated your Alexa. I'm having my greens. I put creatine in here and I feel like I can taste it. 
I'm also thinking, do I pack creatine in my suitcase? Carl or Carla? Hi. Um, I am packing and just like getting ready to leave because my flight's tonight. Oh fuck, you leave tonight. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I don't know if I've talked about this on YouTube. I, I mentioned it on Instagram, but I recently started tretinoin. Um, actually, I'll show you the one that I'm using. I'm sorry, Teeks. Okay, this is the one that I'm using. Retin-A Micro 0 0.04. I think that's like a lower dose, pretty sure. I've only used this three times. I'm spacing it out. I was doing it once a week. Now I'm probably going to do twice a week. And I have noticed my skin has been getting... My skin has been getting a little bit flaky like around my nose and just like certain areas and my skin is breaking out a little bit which is why i have like a pimple sticker here it's definitely not anything intense and i'm still taking spironolactone so i think once i get through this purging phase i think my skin will look pretty good so i'm excited about that chica's trying to help pack she's trying to bring her watermelon I'm going to get my hair toned. It looks really different in different lightings. I'm hoping to just get rid of a little bit of the brassiness. I don't really want it to be darker, but I feel like when you get it toned, it is darker. I don't know, we'll see. But I also booked this specifically for today so that my hair will be freshly washed and styled. And I'm hoping I won't have to wash it when I'm away. Um, I'm definitely not packing shampoo and conditioner. One of my pet peeves is the liquid restrictions when you're flying. I don't know how they expect you to fit your hair, makeup, skincare, all into this little plastic bag. Toronto Pearson Airport is super strict with it. But yeah, definitely not bringing any shampoo or conditioner or like really any hair products. And I'm bringing like the smallest, tiniest little skincare samples. For once I don't have lip balm on me and it's driving me nuts. Here's the after. I honestly can never tell what I think of it right when I get it done. I need to see it in like different lights. Like in the viewfinder right now, it looks a little bit darker, but still warm. But then my natural hair looks really ashy. Like when I was looking at it in there. I don't know. Anyways, at least it's clean and styled. All right, this is the moment of truth. I have this extender, but a lot of times, I'll make you close it to fit in as a carry-on. Oh my gosh. Takes. This is so full. Okay, come on. Okay. Are you so excited to be here? We have water. Why do you have a computer in your car? You know what's good? This is flat so you can put your camera on there so easy. Oh yeah, you can. Do you ever vlog in this car? I don't. I, I like, haven't brought it with me. Look guys, it's Steven. <laughs> in Toronto? I'm like, Canada. I've already had two men try to pick me up today. Oh, that's fine. Knock redemption. One guy said, you look young and dumb. Oh. <laughs> Men are so fucking sick. I was just talking to my girlfriend about them. Like, some of them just suck. They're the worst. I mean, gay men too, but straight men are the worst. Okay. It's 3.30. I finally got to check into my hotel. I'm so used to getting early check-in. I thought for sure I'd be able to check in at like noon at least. But my room was not ready until literally right now. So I don't think I've talked about why I'm in Toronto. Originally, I was going to book a personal trip. I used to come to Toronto all the time, like once or twice a month for work. The last time I was in Toronto was almost a year ago. It was in December, I believe. Um, and that was for a work trip that was super fun. But nothing else has come up since then. And I just really wanted to come back. So I was kind of just dabbling with the idea and I looked online, there was flights for like a hundred bucks. There's like a new airline, there's really cheap flights. I actually didn't end up booking with them though because I had Aeroplan points. So I booked with Air Canada. But anyway, so like I said, it was gonna be a personal trip, but then I reached out to this lady that I, I had just met and it just so happened that she was hosting, I guess it's like a wellness retreat. 
So the timing worked out perfectly. So I booked my flights and I booked this hotel for tonight and then I'm gonna be at the wellness retreat for the other three days. Trying to decide if I should take a nap or not because I did not sleep on the plane. I think I'm just gonna push through. I'm gonna have a shower right now, freshen up. I might go to dinner by myself or like go for drinks. I don't know why, but hotels were crazy expensive right now and like everything was booked up. So this hotel was like, damn it, I thought they'd have drinks in here. Pretty much all the hotels were going for 800 to thousand dollars a night. And I was originally gonna come here for a week. That would have been a very expensive week in Toronto. Um, so I snagged this one for, I think it was like 600 bucks for the night, which is still expensive for a hotel, but it was the best deal we could find. So here we are. I went to Zara. I already mentioned this, but I was trying not to buy anything this month. I have had my eyes on the jackets that Zara has in right now. They have a bunch of just like faux leather fur or shirling jackets. This one, this lighting's not great, but it's brown. But there's absolutely no way I'm gonna be able to fit this in my luggage to bring home. So I don't know what I was thinking. And I also saw this dress and this is really cute. And I feel like I'll get a lot of wear out of this, but it's just a strapless mini black denim dress. Can you see? I feel like my husband's just like in LA <laughs> or I'm banking on one of your hookups to be like, oh, I have a gay friend. Oh my god, really? Oh my god, perfect. It's a potential option. I'll keep my eyes peeled. Like, I didn't know how to respond, and then he's like, you're annoying. <laughs> yes, I'm like, fuck, I'm like, I'm like, Justin Bieber hates me. I feel like my stomach gets really messed up when I travel and I get like anxiety in my stomach and I have no appetite. So I haven't really eaten anything today, but I know I need to eat. I'm ordering an organic white wine. Do I want red? I usually drink red, but I feel like white. How does it work with like liquor? Do you have to show your ID when they get here? Oh no. This is a cork bottle. I don't think there's a corkscrew. I have acquired a wine bottle opener. Is that what this is called? Corkscrew? Cork? Corkscrew wine bottle opener. We have a nice bottle of Pecorino organic white wine. I think it's just a blend. I don't really know. Ow! And this is dinner. I seriously considered going out and like maybe meeting up with someone, but I need to save my energy and it's raining out. So this is from Kibo. So I have some avocado sweet potato sushi. Comes with some soup, a salad, and gyoza. I think we got it, I think. Um. This is scaring me. <sighs> if I was a waitress, I'd be mortified right now. I don't oh, there we go. The sound of satisfaction. Hmm, this wine's pretty good. Okay, so I went on a date, question mark? A date last night? I don't know why I always feel weird calling things dates. I did not get home till, I think let's just not go there. The night just went a lot later than I thought. So I slept in, it's like 10.30 right now. I think I need to check out at 11. I'm getting ready and then I can't check into my next hotel till like 3 p.m. So I'm gonna find a cafe and just like hang out and get work done because I do have some stuff that I need to do on my laptop. I think I'm gonna go over to Yorkville and find a cafe there because that's where I'll be checking in. And I I might be able to check in early. I ended up having like drinks last night, so I feel like, I don't feel that bad. I'm also just rehydrating myself. I just checked in to my new hotel. I'm at the Four Seasons now. It's so freaking nice. This is a great bathtub. Toronto has so many colorful trees right now. I am here with Ford with Design. I think I mentioned that already. I can't remember if I said the company that I was with, but they recently did an event in Vancouver. And so I met 
um, some of the girls there. Also, when I was checking in, I saw my friend Jacqueline, and I know Chelsea's gonna be here as well, so I'll know a couple of the girls, which will be nice. I am half dead right now, but we're gonna go get an IV drip, and I'm hoping this gives me energy. <laughs> How long does it go for? Uh, usually 30 minutes. Have you ever had a before? My parents, I'm the last time. I mean, I was just can't wash this part. Oh, I just can't wash this part. It's a year and a half ago. Okay. I want one. I don't know if that IV drip actually gave me energy or if it was just like hanging out and talking to people, but I feel better. <laughs> Just got back to my room, obviously, and the team has laid out so many clothes. I don't know how I'm gonna bring this home. So here are all the goodies. There's like full outfits in different colors. I love this. Maybe everything can fit in this bag. I don't know what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna try to figure out how to bring all this back. Dinner's back up at the suite, so it's super casual, and we were told to wear something comfy because we're doing the sound bath right after. So I went with this lounge set, a little crop tee, and these pants. That is the dinner fit. David Oldfield, right? Amazing, yeah, that's perfect. Uh, right. Okay, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> you need coffee. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Bye. Saw flakes all over me. <laughs> I'm eating breakfast. I'm trying to come alive because I'm still kind of dead today, but we've got a lot of carbs happening here. I also got a latte. We just got a sweat and tonic. We're gonna do a workout. I think it's kid style. Followed by Oh god. You don't know what is going on. <laughs> no idea. <laughs> Just trying our best out here. <laughs> Three, two, one, let's do it. Let's do it. Row, swing into your shoulder and overhead press. Yeah. Yeah. Got back to the hotel room, quickly got ready, and now we're heading out for the helicopter tour. I think we're quickly gonna grab a light snack before we head out downstairs. But my outfit for today, this is Ford with design. Super cute, cozy. I'm just wearing it with jeans. I'm gonna throw sneakers on.
just finished getting ready for dinner. I'm about to meet up with a couple girls and we're walking over because the restaurant's just down the street. Here's the dinner outfit. You can't really see it because it's all black. Um, but I'm just wearing a sweater dress with a blazer over top and these boots. I woke up feeling kind of sad and emotional today. I'm also feeling very grateful that I get to come on trips like this. It's just really nice to be able to meet other people and hang out. And the brands always do an amazing job with the itineraries, just so many cool things to do. Um, so overall, a very fun trip. I feel like I always have the best time in Toronto. Sorry, I'm, like, I'm still waking up right now. I'm flying home today. I'm gonna hang out at the hotel for as long as I can. I think checkout's at 12. Then I'll head to the airport and my flight is at four. So I'll probably just hang out at the lounge, get like work done on my computer and then fly home. Just got my breakfast dropped off. This is what we're having today. I had to get another croissant. I'm obsessed. I'm trying to figure out how to pack up all my stuff because I'm leaving with more than I came with and my bag was already like too full. I'm not gonna be able to bring everything, but like, is this gonna count as a personal item? Because I just put my backpack and like extra stuff in here. I'm just gonna like keep it under my arm and hopefully no one really like notices the size. So <laughs> just shoving as much as I can in here. And then I just have like my jacket and my carry on so hopefully this works I thought my flight was at four and it's actually at like six thirty or something so I'm hanging out at the airport for like five hours but I probably have enough time to like fully edit this video. So I'm gonna do that. Thank you for watching. Love you guys so much. See you next week.